Good morning. It is May 15th. We are almost at the halfway point of the month. The 31-day month is always a little bit strange, so we're not quite halfway today, but tomorrow we'll be beyond halfway. So halfway through today, we'll be halfway through the month. Confusing. Hello, my name is Tracy, and I am the host of the Knitting on the Float podcast. And this month we are doing Lofty May vlogs. I will admit to you, I'm also at that halfway point where I just want to be done. The motivation is a little bit low. I just need that second wind to have that push to finish off. But before we get to the loft, there's commotion happening. Let's go see what's happening on the dock today. Oh my goodness. I have something very special for you today. There are raccoons. There are baby ducks, and there are raccoons. I thought I saw two, but right now I see one. But the goose, the duck, and Mama Papa, they are not happy about today's visitor. My goodness, what a surprise. It is daytime. This is not a normal thing. Look at the crows are going after. Wow. Definitely, there is another raccoon and he's just in the bushes where the bushes were, the brushes were moving. Oh, well, that was a spotting for sure. Talk about wildlife on the river. It is all here today. But look at all those birds supporting each other. That's pretty amazing. The ducks are here protecting their young. The geese are not happy with, there's the two raccoons. I knew I saw two. And they don't like the fact that not only have they been foiled, look at them peeking behind. Not only have they been foiled by the birds, a human has had the nerve to come out and send them back. They should be sleeping right now. Anyway, that is the excitement on the water today. Goodness, I definitely was not expecting that. Oh, here we've got some bigger goslings as well. So all the birds are definitely wanting to protect they're little ones. Let's go up on the ramp, see if we can see those little bandits. Quick overhead view from here. And here they are, being dive bombed by crows. into something. This poor little guy has been separated from his family. He tried to get in with the goslings, but they didn't want anything to do with him. So maybe, hopefully he will find a duck family. I have one more sighting. It is definitely a busy day on the river today because look, there's the heron as well. So we have a lot of geese. Not sure where the ducks have disappeared to. But there is the, there is the heron. This poor little guy here seems to have been separated from his family. I am hoping 
This is his family here. And hopefully he'll be able to get with them. He seems to want to hang out with the geese. Stay away from the edge. There's raccoons there, you sweet little thing. It is now early afternoon. I have been down to visit one of my neighbors and had a lovely cup of tea with him. I took some footage of the ducklings on the river as well. So I'll pop some of that in probably at the end. And it is now time, I think, to tackle the corner. Now I'm not going to do the whole corner today because I am finding this space a little bit overwhelming. My motivation has been low, as I was mentioning earlier today when I was speaking with you. But I know that just getting that little bit will be hopefully enough to feel good about my progress today and also to just give me that little push in order to finish. I was thinking last night about how my motivation was kind of not quite where I would like it to be. I'm right in that middle part where you just go, oh, I could live with it as is, but I don't want to live with it as is. It's definitely a lot easier to come in here and do the tasks than when we first started out at the beginning of the month. However, I want it a much more livable space. So I just need to push through even though sometimes it is hard to find that gumption to do those last little pushes that it takes to get the job done. So let's take a look at this corner here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do the stuff that is at the front on the floor. So yesterday I said there is a box with CDs and there's a DVD in here as well. The boys in their closets, they have a top shelf and that's where I'm going to be putting this. We have all the DVDs on the top shelf in both Isaac's room. Most of them are in Isaac's room, but the overflow is in Nathaniel's and I believe these CDs. I didn't keep many CDs when we left Toronto, but these were the ones that I wanted to keep. I had a lot more and I ended up donating them. But these ones, I'm going to put them in storage. That way, if I ever need to get them back. Well, the computer's no longer here. The computer's over there now. I was here for so long, I got distracted. Um, if I ever need to reburn them onto the computer, I can do that because I run everything through Apple TV. So I'm going to put this at Nathaniel's door, and then I'm going to get the stepladder and pop this into his room a little bit later. So there's one thing off of the floor. These are yarns that I have pulled specifically to use on the circular sock machine. And I have a little basket bin down here, and that's where I've been keeping some of the things for the circular sock machine. So what I will do is I'm just going to move it from here, and I want to keep it all together, and I do want to keep it near the circular sock machine because my plan is to, in the next little while, make some more socks. This is easy. Just straight into recycling. They do recycle bubble wrap here, which is fantastic. And in this pile, I have quite a few tote bags. So I've got a lovely Viola tote bag here. And I have a fringe supply bag that housed one of my fringe supply bags. And today it is May 15th. And May 15th is Fluvog Day, and it is John Fluvog's birthday. I am not even going near that website because it is a dangerous website for me. But it is Fluvog Day, and if you want a really nice pair of shoes, and it's still May 15th, you'll get a bit of a discount. But as I said, I'm best not to go to that website whatsoever. These are my carters for spinning and I'm not sure where I'm going to put these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop these over where the spinning wheel and all of the spinning things are and that's just 
over by my desk and yes it becomes another pile that I have to deal with but I just I'm not sure what to do with these at this moment so pile here moves to pile there not always the best way to deal thing, with things but today it will have to do I have these two power bars that were in that pile and this power bar is actually going to be used over by the computer and I think this one has a surge protector on it I know this one definitely has the surge protection so I really should double check and see but I like this one because it has the USB ports which gives a little bit extra ability Nathaniel wanted this one but I think it's going to be by my computer in that pile are all of the cords and these ones are sometimes used so I definitely want to make sure I'm keeping that this one the blue one here sometimes if we have difficulty with the printer that's one to keep by the printer but these ones oh my goodness outdated so so many cords this is the towel rack that came off the boys bathroom wall I have replaced it with something else but I need to get the screws out of here and I need to put this somewhere just in case I need to put a towel rack somewhere else um, because it matches the towel racks in the rest of the house. I don't think I will, but for now, I'm going to put it in the utility room after I pull off these uh, plugs and unhook it and get the screws out. I'll put it all together. And the best thing to do is probably put the screws into like a little Ziploc and then put the Ziploc around this bar. So then that way it's easy to find all the pieces when I either decide to put it back up or donate it. We'll see what ends up happening. I will put that at the top of the stairs to go downstairs. I don't plan on buying any more yarn anytime soon because we all know I need no more yarn, but it is good to have these bags around. So I will put that with the yarn. And I have these two sock snakes. I made this one and this one quite a while ago and my intention was to put in after hot, afterthought heels, cuffs and toes, but in fact I think what I'm going to do is I am going to, now that I can do the hanged hem, the heel and the toe on the machine, I'm just going to pull out the yarn and knit socks out of these sock snakes fully rather than having to spend time cutting and fiddling around. So I'm gonna put this with these yarns. And these will all go by the circular sock machine. All air out. In this little bin here, which is where I'm going to put my circular sock machine yarns. I have a couple extra bags. There are some pins, some fiber, the stuff that I threw in in the first week. And then I also have some lavender bags. And then, oh, this is a cone for the circular sock machine, so it will stay with there. But I put it right there for now. But I also have I have these two pink hazel containers. This has some double pointed needles in it. This one has crochet hooks, bigger size ones. And then this one has some different needles. So my wooden looking needles. And I've also got some signature sock needles, which I used to love, but I find that they get burrs at the tip. And then, what do I have in here? Just some little ends for 
yes, throwing things around for the look and needle. So those are all stored in here. I also have double pointed needles, crochet hooks, and other circulars and straights downstairs. So these are some extras. I'm going to need to figure out where to store these. That's going to be the hard part. I think I will actually put these bags on each of the shelves in the cabinet. And even though my yarn is in Ziploc bags, just extra protection. Plus, I like them. I need to put them somewhere. And to me, that sort of seems like a smart place to put them. I'm not quite sure how putting CDs in a cupboard turns into having to dismantle a light in a closet, but ladder was there, screwdriver was out. Unfortunately, these had started falling off the wall, so no more light in Nathaniel's closet. I have these lovely pins. I'm gonna take them downstairs and put them on my fringe bag that is holding all my little loom squares. That'll be nice. <sighs> Who would have thought removing a light would have been such hard work? I was up on a ladder and having a really hard time getting in the corners of the closet trying to unscrew this closet light that had been in there. So I've now got that done and I've gone downstairs, gotten a bit of hydration because it is very warm and I don't want to dehydrate myself. And we are back up in the loft Back to the task at hand, you know, you get diverted very easily. So these are the yarns for circular sock machine. I'm going to put them in this bin, which is now empty. And this is waste yarn for the circular sock machine. And I've got another cone in the big bird, which is a I'll grab because it's a fun colorway. It's right behind you. heel weight attached to it. This one here, this is Big Bird, and this is a fun one to use for waste yarn. So I will put those in my yarns for the circular sock machine, and then this is going to go behind you by the circular sock machine. Just a few more things to go in this H2O box. I have some yarns, leftover yarns. These are the yarn colors that Helen Stewart used for her anthology throw. And I used these red ones here for one of the knit vent projects, the very last shawl. And I'm sorry, but the name of the shawl is escaping my mind. And then I have some full minis of the bluer version. So, the warmer tones I used, I still have yet to use the blue ones. And I am not sure what I'm going to use the rest of this yarn for. It's a mix of beautiful yarns. For now, I'm going to put this with the rest of the yarn that I will need to deal with in the days ahead. Okay, we have just a few more things in this corner. Another basket, this is fabric scraps that I threw in here and I've got two measuring tapes. And actually I will put the measuring tapes with the sewing notions that will be going in the Lazy Susan. Probably one of these will stay with the Lazy Susan stuff and the other one will go in the sewing cupboard. But I'll put that there and then I need to go through these and figure out what needs to be kept, what is too small. I've got a little bit of batting in here as well. So I'm gonna put this by the sewing cupboard and I will need to go through the sewing cupboard and straighten that out. So we'll see this basket yet again. We saw this in the first couple of days of the cleanup as well. This is the cord that goes by the EMAC, which is just, right here that I have to still deal with. And then more cords. So another HDMI, there's an extension cord, and then 
there's a USB attached to some sort of end I'll need to figure out. Oh, that's, I don't know what that's for. So I definitely, this might be for Nathaniel's robo dog. I'll need to find out. I think it might be. We are down to the last couple of things. This is a little letter tray. I need to go through this and I'm not going to do that today, but I'm going to put this over by my desk and that will be a task that I will need to go through. There are cards here and other important documents. So I want to spend some time with that. I've also got a stylus for my iPad. So I'm going to put this by the desk. It's a cute little thing. It's got a, a drawer in it. So I'm not sure what I will end up using it for. I have another one downstairs, the same, and that's where I keep the tax information, receipts, and other important things. So it is good to maybe have one up here by the printer or the desk as well. The last thing that I'm going to pull out from this corner today is this plate rack. It had been over top of the china cabinet on the other side, and I'm not sure whether I'm going to put it over the china cabinet on this side and put a couple of the collector plates, or whether I'm going to find a smaller piece of art that fits in that space. I'm not sure yet. So I am going to pop this just over by the china cabinet and keep it there until I make that decision. So I've still got a little bit of time left to figure out what I want to do with that. I just checked the Robo Dog and neither of these USBs fit the Robo Dog. So my job is to figure out what these belong to or to toss them. It's a hard decision when you're coming across cords. For now, I'm going to put these in my desk area and I'm going to have to deal with the cords on another day when I can just focus solely on figuring out what belongs with what. Here is the progress for today. I'm thinking that it was a good idea to chunk this corner into two and remove the front half of the clutter. And it's really great to have that bin that had the CDs up and away now. I was tripping over it yesterday when I was trying to wind yarn and it is now up with the other storage things up, up high. And we still have to deal with this, but starting here made today a lot easier to take. And really, if you look at what has to be done, the bottom half, that's easy. It's the top half and it's really not all that bad. At least I don't think so. We'll see on another day whenever that may be. I do have a couple of things that I still need to deal with that I wasn't 100% sure where their home will be and I'll pop over and show you. These things here, I took them out of the corner but they are still looking for a home. I have these tote bags so I'm not sure whether I'm just going to use maybe a couple of them for groceries or Put them in with the yarn bags. I'm not 100% sure. I do like the organza bag so I'll probably keep that with my yarn. And then I have my three needle and hook cases and I need to figure out what is going to happen with those. Anyway, I am very pleased with the job that has been done today. Take a quick glimpse around. Oh, nice. Needs a sweep, but clear floor. Another day. Beautiful, clear blue dresser. And here, another day. But you know what? We are slowly getting there. And today was just a good push through that I needed. Ah. <sighs> It's nice to come and sit down after working in the loft this afternoon 
It is another beautiful day in the Vancouver area, but that does mean that it is very warm as you get higher up in the house. We haven't turned the air conditioning on yet. I'm enjoying having the breeze coming through. Ah, <sighs> before we get to what knitting that I got up to yesterday, I think it is time to rehydrate and Today, I'm just drinking out of the Sophie Conran highballs, cold water from the fridge, tap water, and just a nice bit of refreshment. Today, I would like to say a cheers to you for helping me to persevere and to push through because my motivation has been lacking a bit. So. Cheers to you and a huge thanks for that as well. I actually only have one more Rendale Designs cup for tea and we'll probably maybe enjoy that tomorrow, I guess, depending on what time we finally sit down together and chatter about the crafting. So this is my mystery project in my bird leg bags and it got a little bit of love. I continued to work with the Dark Orion and the mohair. I'm trying to find those colors without sharing too much more. Here's the Dark Orion and oh so so beautiful. It is still attached to the project and here is the mohair and holding them together. They are soft, fluffy, and not so much a project to work on at this time of the day, but definitely very nice for the evening when things start to cool down. So I would like, if possible, to get through the blue section of my mystery project tonight, and then it would be really nice to spend a little bit more time with my shoo sh sweet shrug. I need more water, I think. And it, it hasn't had attention in a few days, so it'd be nice to spend time with my shoo sweet shrug. Having difficulty. And of course, I will also be spending some time with the project that I just put into my lovely little bobbins bag yesterday. And this is the second pattern from the Handmade Sock Society season five. And I am using this gorgeous skein of mist. It is Plush Sock by The Wool Barn. And it is really lovely. I'm just in the cuff, not giving too much away. Most socks have cuffs. And I think it's going to look absolutely beautiful once it is knit up. But in order to get it knit up, I gotta spend some time with it. So tonight, a little bit of time with socks. I want to finish off the mystery project so that tomorrow maybe we'll have some time with the shoot sweet shrug. <sighs> Definitely time for another sip of water. It has been lovely spending some time with you today and I hope that you have had a chance to just sit and relax. Maybe you've been cleaning with me or maybe you are crafting along while I have been working away, chunking little bits upstairs. I am wishing you a wonderful day, evening, afternoon, whatever time it is for you. And I look forward to spending some more time with you tomorrow. Maybe we'll get the rest of that corner. Maybe we'll work somewhere else. I'm just playing things by ear and where my motivation takes me. Have a wonderful day and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.
Not everything got a home today. However, I am very happy to share with you that the four pins that I brought down from today's cleanup, they did get a home on my fringe bag. So, not only are they happy, I'm happy too. <laughs>